We have a visitor from Chicago, very special guy named Big Julie. And Big Julie here has an opportunity for you that he's going to tell you about. So welcome, Big Julie. Hey, folks. This is a beautiful audience. I love this audience. Ain't they, hey, you know, right, Jack? Ain't they great people? And there's Maxine down here. All our friends is here. My name's Big Julie, I'm from Chicago. And I got pals that love art, and that's why I'm here. So they're still up in Chicago waiting for me to call them in case I need them. That's Luigi and Dominic and all them guys. But I'm here because there's a gorgeous picture over here that's a sample of what Nina Fritz does. Nina Fritz is an internationally famous artist, as you probably know. How many know Nina Fritz? Yeah, a lot of you. Hey, yeah, and you all know what a wonderful lady she is. She is donating a sitting in her studio to paint your picture or somebody of your choice, maybe a grandson or a daughter or somebody like that. So that's what she does every year for the Senior Follies. And there's paintings down here that she's also done. One is Pensacola Today and Yesterday. The other one is Naval Aviation Centennial that she painted. And they're framed by artistic framing over there on Bayou Boulevard. So, what I'm trying to tell you is, we're raffling this stuff. It's beautiful. You don't get that picture, you get one of your own that she will paint in her studio, and it'll be a two hour, and here's a lady right down here. Maxine, how old are you, young lady? She's 94 years old. She got her picture painted last year. It's beautiful, and they got it hanging on the wall. So, anyhow, I'm going to be up around you. How many think you would like to buy raffle tickets? Raise your hand. I don't see any hands. Come on, wait. We need the help. I hear something. <laughs> no, I'll tell you what it was. Good. Glad to see that. All of this money that we get from raffles goes to senior projects around the city, around the area, Pensacola. And it's like Loop Camp Bluebird, an adult camp for cancer survivors. That's one of them. We've got a lot of education programs for seniors that have nothing else to do, and so they want to get learning something new. So, Big Julie will be up around the stands here, and I want you to be very helpful to us. Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. I know I appreciate some of you people coming in here a little early. And what we're going to do is we're just going to try to entertain you a little bit before the show. Just give you a little bit of entertainment. We're going to have uh, Kevin in here. He's from the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. And on his way down here, he ran in the snow all the way until he got to Alabama. But uh, Kevin Turk, he's my oldest son. He's going to sing a beautiful song for you. So we're going to bring him out here. And, let them entertain you while you're finding your seats. It's a little bit funny, this feeling inside. I'm not one of those who can easily hide. But it's the best I can do. 
gift baskets over here. Uh, they're very generous. We had a very generous uh, uh, business areas here in the Pensacola area. All of our members went out and put these baskets together and they hit just about every business here in Pensacola and everywhere we went they gave us uh, gift cards. We've given anywhere from seven to eight baskets out at each show. Tonight is the final show. We're going to have, let's see, seven, eight, probably a total of uh, eight or nine baskets that we're going to be giving out tonight. The regular baskets, one through seven, they range in value from about $75 to $100. The grand prize basket is well over $200 value. So we appreciate all the business here in the Pensacola area that have helped us make these baskets great. Uh, and I especially want to give a great big thanks to, to Pete and Jim Crummish. They hit just about every place in this town that you could think of. They end up getting us six different baskets. And uh, I appreciate what they've done. So we're gonna just, uh, we're running just a little late this evening. And all I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna bring another singer out here and try to entertain you a little bit while we get everybody back up on the stage. So in about two minutes, I'll get uh, my little baby girl out here and my son again. I, my kids live all over the place. Uh, I have uh, my daughter in Houston, my one son in D.C., and my other son in the Upper Prince of Michigan. And here we are in Pensacola, so needless to say, Carol and I don't have to do much babysitting. <laughs> so that's the good part, but we miss our kids. And I'm going to bring a couple of them out, my daughter and uh, son out here to sing a little song for you. I'm 
begin to think I understand everything we are. You and I will always be forever in heaven. I see myself within your eyes, and it's all I need to show is why everything I do always takes me home to you. Goodness, they take after their mother and not me. I can't say the note at all. Uh, if by chance you're coming in here a little late and, and you don't have enough time to put your stub in for the basket you'd like to win, during the intermission you can put your, your stub in, in the basket you'd like to win. Uh, these baskets will be pulled just before the, the final scene in Act 2. Also, we'll be pulling for, for the Nina Fritz Prize at that time also. Now, all the baskets will be going to people who are here tonight. Now, the Nina Fritz, there's a, the tickets were in there from all three shows. So it could possibly be somebody from the Friday or Saturday show that wins it. So if you wonder, to you, where is that winner at? They may have been in the Friday or the Saturday night show. All right, we'll, we'll be starting very shortly. But uh, before we do, I'd like to show everybody here in the audience the Pensacola Senior Follies got recognition on Friday night from the uh, elders uh, from the uh, volunteer from the Pensacola Senior Folly for volunteer presentation 
uh, from the field of, of elders of the state of Florida. So the Pensacola Senior Fathers was recognized by the state of Florida for all the good work that we've done here in the past. And it's people like you who've made it possible for us to do this. So I have to congratulate all the, all the present performers and the past performers who helped in getting this award from the state of Florida. And I, I'm getting to the point too where I can't have, remember it too much anyway. Um, because the Sunday show has always been very significant to us because it is our final show. And this is where our members uh, say, oh boy, it's finally over. For the last three or four months, they've been working very hard, not just on the skits or the lyrics, but it is our seniors who go out, and if you see those pages in the front of your, of your brochure, with this three or f about three pages full of sponsors, those are our members who go out and get all this money. This is where we get our money for the Pensacola Senior Follies. It was also our members that put all these baskets together. So our members do a great job, and now it comes to an end tonight, and uh, they won't know what to do with themselves after the next couple of weeks. Uh, there's many people that I would like to thank because there's a lot of people that do a lot of things around here that don't actually get to go across the stage and hear your applause. And I'd like to thank some of them right now. And I hope I didn't leave any of them out. We have Kathy Kuhar, who has always worked the box office year after year up there. Uh, Arlene Walsh and Jesse Watson. They've been running around here all week long helping us, and uh, they're mostly backstage. You won't see these people. We have Lois and Ken Peterson. They've worked with us for years now. They do all the miking up backstage. If you wonder how these mics are coming out here and how they get it all straight, it's Ken and Lois Peterson that, do, that handles that. Because what they do is they're all numbered. Hopefully we have the right numbers coming up to, to Jeff. If we don't, all of a sudden, uh, I have somebody right here that I think I have to say hello to. I have you right here. This is one of my dearest. Hi, Linda. Oh, glad you Linda Burke, she has worked absolutely years and years for the uh, Council on Aging at RSVP, and I'm so glad she could be here tonight. I appreciate everything that Linda has done for the Pensacola area. All right, to get along with this now, we have Ken and Lois Peterson back in the back. They do the mics. Jeff Jordan up there, he does the sound. I mean, yeah, does the sound. And we have Mark Peterson right here who does the lighting. And then we also have Wayne Funk, who's right here. Wayne is the person who puts the program all together. So that we have a beautiful program every year. He also does the slideshow that's going on in the back. And I think you'll see some very interesting slides with them. Um, Ashley Chauver, she's our, our good little girl. She has been with us. I don't know how many years has she been with us now, Jim? About four years now, yeah. She's in charge of the props back there. And she's just a little girl, and believe me, she tells the boys what to do. Because I've seen her, there have been guys on the other side of the stage, and she's went like this to them. And believe me, they run. Because she means you get, you belong over here. <laughs> and she is great at this, and I really appreciate Ashley. Uh, but, and let's see, uh, we have Jennifer, who's working over here with the baskets. Also, Shirley and Reggie, where they, I think they, they're out front, where are they out front working now? Or either that or getting set up for the other stuff. Yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, Bud Jennings, he also did some of the, uh, uh, the props. Russ Mann, and a lot of you people know Russ from out the, uh, out the island. Uh, he's also helped with the props. Uh, Danielle Seals, she's one of our photographers. Also, my son Kevin is the, the photographer. Uh, we have uh, Danielle's husband, Jay Seals, who helped put the props on and off the stage. Uh, we also have Michael. Tobias, I don't know if he's right here, he's probably making up. The girls line up anywhere from two to two and a half hours, line up to have him put the makeup on him, and he does a fantastic job, this young man. 
and uh, Ray Orwin, he, he also helps with the props. Dale Saucy, he couldn't be here tonight, but, but he's the gentleman for every practice, he's the first one in the door. We say, is the coffee ready yet? And he has the coffee ready for us. And how could we not forget Nina Fritz? Nina Fritz has been a member of our Senior Follies family for how many years now, T? She is, she is great, and I think most people know Nina Fritz. And what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go ahead and get this show on the road here right now. We might, might be about two or three minutes late. But this evening, uh, we did some things to speed it up a little bit. The last two shows, uh, we've even, with the intermission, we've had people out of here in about two hours. So just before the final act, we will be drawing for the baskets and also for the Nina Fritz. And very shortly, we're going to turn the whole thing over to our MC here, Jim O'Connor. Thank you, Ken. You now, one of the things about uh, this is the senior follies, and, and one of the sad aspects of senior follies is we're working with seniors and we lose uh, some of our participants every year. If you look at page 35 of your programs up there, we lost uh, three of our actors, actors and actresses uh, this past year, Jenny Arthur, uh, Kurt Bonner, who's been with us for a long time, and B.J. Eccles. If you've ever come uh, to the shows before, uh, you probably remember uh, B.J. But we've lost those three this year, and we will sorely miss them. Okay. Now... This is our 19th year, by the way, I don't know if I told you that, and we're going to salute the state of Florida, from Pensacola to Walt Disney World, from Cape Canaveral down to Key West, all across uh, the state of Florida. We're going to open by taking you there on a train called the Orange Blossom Special. So, all aboard with your conductor, Mason. <laughs>
about a rambling She's the fastest thing on the line Oh, talk about a rambling She's the fastest thing on the line It's that orange blossom special Is for that newport line Thank you, lady. And now that we're all in Florida, you know, Florida ports launch Caribbean cruises from both sides of the coast year-round. And Bob's going to take us on one with Frankie Ford's 1959 hit, Sea Cruise. Peninsula, Sweetie Pie wanted to look really pretty, so she went to the beauty shop and had a facial, mud pack facial actually, and it worked really well for two days, then the mud fell off. Thank you. You're welcome. Last night we had to stay at a motel. It had a water bed. I happened to call it the Dead Sea. Oh, I heard. Well, anyway, people think it's really cute how we're always holding hands and walking. Fact of the matter is, if I let go, she goes shopping. You know, a little, little sense of humor never hurt anyone. Did you ever hear of a laughing hyena with heartburn? Well, I don't know any, about any hyenas, eh? But I do know why you like Chinese food so much. Why? because wonton spelled backwards means not now. You know, people say we're getting old, but I really don't feel old. Not until noontime when it's time for my nap. Yeah, and you nap a lot. Thank you. Well, we know birthdays are good for your health because the more you have, the older you get. Well, you also know the more candles you have on that cake, 
the more the cake's going to cost. I know. Your cakes cost a whole lot, huh? Yes, they do. Well, <laughs> anyway, here we go. <laughs> you know, we really need to find us a church. I'd hate to lose a hereafter on a technicality. Well, you know, I'm not going to argue about that. Because I know this, that an argument with her, she always gets the last word. Because anything after that is the start of a new argument. That's right. You know, here in Florida, we don't have to shovel sunshine. So let's go let's to the go beach to the and beach. have fun. <laughs> Thank you, guys. You know, uh, our capital of Tallahassee received nationwide attention with Freddie Cannon's 1960s hit, Tallahassee Lassie. And tonight we're bringing you our own 1960s trio to help us remember that song. And here they are. Oh, oh. oh come on. what we looked like back in the 50s and the 60s, every one of you. All right, next, Mary salutes Florida's rich Spanish history with her Latin dances and her amazing cassinets. Take it away, Mary.
Jason Mary, good job. Okay, the time is July of 1969, and the place is Cape Canaveral, Florida. Apollo 11 blasts off with three men on their way to the moon. Now, by very special arrangement, we happen to have found those very same three men. A little bit older, but they're here to entertain you tonight. And here they are. Fred kept looking at his hands, he has the words. 
Okay, one thing we have in Florida here is sun. And here's two of our local natives to tell us about that. <laughs> before we do. <clears throat> yes, I do, big boy. <laughs> First of all, I am a graduate of the Trinity Bible College, and as such, we believe in the power of Almighty God to intervene on behalf of the innocent. And I am innocent, and there is nothing that you can do about it. So you just do your little thing while I hum a tune. No, 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 no. All right, sir. bailiff. Sir. Throw the switch. <laughs> sir. Throw the switch. <laughs> Trinity Baptist College. Throw the switch. <laughs> what? I said throw the switch. I threw the switch. Oh, 
Oh my gosh. Well, you know, maybe we get to get some divine intervention and it's very possible that your Lord has saved you. You may go, get her out of that chair, get her out of here at any time. It's very scary. Very scary. And <coughs> just say there. <clears throat> when do you get off from work? I'll be off at four. I see you and Jay's juke joint at four thirty all right, baby. Got it coming. All right. Now we still have two heinous criminals to do. Give me Miss Periwinkle Mason. Miss Periwinkle Mason. Yes. Put her in the chair. Miss <laughs> Mason, follow me. that chair. I don't want the blood on my hands here. So you sit very still. Miss Periwinkle Mason, you have been convicted and sentenced to die in Florida's electric chair. Uh, do you have anything that you'd like to say before we carry out that sentence? Yes, of course I have something to say. I am a graduate of a California law school. I have passed the bar and I'm an attorney. And the one thing that they teach you at law school above all else is to be able to speak up, tell the truth, and make a case for yourself. And I'm telling you right now that I have done absolutely nothing wrong, not one single thing wrong. Therefore, I am totally innocent. That's it, innocent. All right, but we ain't in California. Same we throughout the states. Do a state. Right. Bailiff, throw the switch. Throwing the switch. <laughs> what? Uh, again? Oh, we have another one has been saved by providence. What in the world? Get her out of that chair. You are free to go. Get off. Told you. Told you. Told you. <laughs> no Bailiff, blonde. The third one in this party is Miss Alberta Einstein. <laughs> Better get her, she's trying to slip out Einstein, of Einstein, get over here. Einstein, my Einstein. More like Mary Believe Mary, if you ask me. You want, you want to strap her down there, baby? Yeah. I never. No, I guess well, you never maybe did. Once or twice. <laughs> yeah, we know better than that. In here. All right. Miss Alberta Einstein, you have been sentenced and convicted and sentenced and we're going to put you to death today in this here electric chair. Do you have anything that you'd like to say before we carry out the sentence? Well, as a matter of fact, I do. I'm a graduate of the Massachusetts Institute of Technology with a degree in electrical engineering. And I really don't know anything about divine intervention, obviously, or the law. But the one thing I do know is you're not going to electrocute anybody unless you plug the dang thing in. Well, oh, my gosh. Bring them back. Don't let them go. Don't let them go. Wait a minute. Oh, let the red head go. I'll catch her to see you. Oh, boss. What are you what I didn't do oh, it. I didn't do it. That's the problem. I was wishing you did. didn't tell me that. I was going to do it. That's not what I did. Okay, I told you the blind room system. Now I have to tell you about uh, the three football fans are on top of a mountain. There was an Alabama fan, a Florida fan, and a Florida State fan. But an Alabama fan says, I'm going to prove I'm the best football fan in the world because I'm going to jump off this mountain. So he jumps off. So the Florida guy looks at it and he says, well, I'm going to prove I'm the best football fan. So the Florida fan picks up the Florida State fan and throws him off the mountain. <laughs> Okay, if you remember way back when the TV hit The Jetsons previewed life in the future. It was uh, filmed here and it caused a rash back in 1987 of UFO sightings in Gulf Breeze. You remember back when all those sightings were going on? And that made news around the world. Well, we have brought back the original cast of The Jetsons. They're going to do their final show ever right here for you. Here are The Jetsons. <laughs> Oh! 
the home and birthplace of NASCAR. But did you know that right here in Pensacola, we have a 500 race too. And we're gonna put it on for you here. You all heard those famous racing words, gentlemen, start your engines. Well, in this case, it's ladies and gentlemen, start your pedals. And here they are. Okay, they're coming out on the track now. Kind of eyeing each other. I noticed two of them are cheating, not even sitting down on their tricycle. All right, the green flag is out. The race is on. Around they go. They're eyeing each other. Number three is trying to get around number two here. Number one still in the lead. Number one doesn't have any training wheels. What happened here? What happened? Oh, no training wheels. Had a little wreck over there in turn number four. All right, let's get the repair lady out there. Yellow flag on the track. No passing. Yellow flag. Here she goes. She's going to repair it here. First, we got to get his beard all sorted out there for him. And next, we had a little problem with odor, so we're going to get down to our stick there. All right, that should put him back in the track, although he's a lot behind now. And his seat came off. No training wheels, and his seat came off. I think he's hurt. All right. Green flags back, we're going again. They're all waiting for the white flag now, which means one more lap. And out comes the white flag. So we're down to the final lap now. Number two's in the lead. Number three, cheating, trying to cut in. And number one, he's a lap behind. Okay, here we come around for the checkered flag. Looks like it's going to be number two. Yes, it is. Number two gets the victory lap with the second flag. All right. Yes. So that's the Pensacola version of the Pensacola 500. Good job, guys. Okay. Now, in 1962, South Florida went wild with Chubby Checker's uh, hit, Limbo Rock. And against 
the director's better judgment, the cast decided they would try that for you tonight. We have absolutely no idea what's going to happen, but we have ambulance standing by. Here they are. <laughs> Okay, down both the east coast and the west coast of Florida, all the beaches sports surfers galore. Pat Fay and Judy take us back to 1962 with the Beach Boys hit, Surfing Safari. <laughs> Let's go surfing now, everybody's learning how 
come on and safari with me. With come on and safari with me. With me. With you. With me. With me. With me. With me. With me. With me. Good looking bunch of surfers here. Okay, the cast needs a rest. So just before we take a break for complimentary Pepsis, we're gonna have you entertain us a little bit. So Ken's gonna come out and show us how to do it, and then we're gonna get three audience members to come down and compete. Here we yeah, go. So we're gonna have to get see if we can get three volunteers from the audiences. I have three boxes up here. In all three boxes, naturally, it has six sides, and on each side there is a name. And in that name, it's going to spell out a song title. And I'm going to give you a little clue as how to do it. And these gentlemen and ladies are going to show you how it's done, and then I'm going to see if one of you, two, three of you people in the audience can get yours done. Now, if I say example, the song was in Sound of Music, and it had musical notes. What would that song be? Do, re, mi, let's see how they guys do it. Oh, do, where we at? We got me. Re, there we go, do, re, mi. See how easy that was? All right, now I need to have three volunteers from the audience that would like to try to solve this puzzle. Somebody's got to be brave enough to come down. Don't everybody put your hand up at once. Here's one right here. We got, All right, come we on got down. one soccer. Come on down. I need two more brave souls. Okay, we got two, one more. We need one more, all right, where we at up here? Do I see a hand up here somewhere? We gotta have another one. All right. They, what a bunch of chickens. Right here, here we go. All right, now, I'm gonna give you a hint, and maybe the audience can help you too. If you get this within one minute, we'll give you a little prize, okay? Okay, let's see who we have here. What is your name? I'm Betty McLeroy. Oh. <laughs> I am Bottlefield from Tallahassee. Oh, Tallahassee Lassie. <laughs> Crystal Joy. Pensacola. Pensacola. All right. All right, let's see if we can get this now. Are you guys ready for this tough, and it's a really a tough clue, okay? It's a baby <laughs> toy that they do this, and it makes a sound. And after they do that sound, sometimes they do this on the floor. <laughs> you want to give me a little help? What's the name of the song? Hey, there they go. Oh, wow. Keep running and roll. All right, they got it with a lot of time. They get their little prize, okay? And all right, now we're going to be taking our intermission. And as you know, sometimes the, the bathrooms get a little crowded here in the WSR Gin Quality Miss Performance Studio. And as soon as we get everybody back from the restrooms, we'll start the second act. Don't forget, you can go up to the Red Room and get Pepsi. Also, Julio's still over here. He's still getting some tickets for the Nina Fritz.